अज़बिल्लिमिनशीम बसमीम गुड मॉर्निंग अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन इन सेफ एंड साउंड एट योर होम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई कंग्रेचुलेट यू ऑल ऑन योर प्रमोशन टू न्यू क्लासेस एंड सिक्योरिंग द हायर ग्रेड्स एज यू आर प्रमोटेड टू योर न्यू क्लासेज फ्राम क्लास सिक्स टू क्लास सेवन so i welcome you all in your science class this is your science book oxford secondary science book 2 the author name is terry jennings you can get your set of books and copies on the given addresses of the shops attached to your result cards so before starting the topic i will discuss few things from with you people what is science what is science science is now divided into three branches first is biology second is chemistry and the third one is physics first we will discuss what is biology you remember what is biology you have already discussed definition of biology in your previous class the word biology is derived from two words bio means life and logos means study so the study of life is called biology this is the course content of your class 7 biology chemistry and physics the first topic which we are going to start is let us a system topic number 1 second topic is reproduction in plants then in the chemistry section we have the topic atoms in the physics section we have the topic circuits and electric current before going directly to the topic the digestive system we will first discuss the organization of the body we will start with the word cell you know what is cell cell is the structure and basic unit of living thing it is the smallest unit of living things we cannot consider our life without cell examples of cells are nerve cells we have many examples but we are here we are discussing a single example with you cells combine join together to form tissue examples of tissue are epithelial tissue cells combine to form tissue then tissues combine and join together to form an organ examples of organ are hand eye nose stomach heart is an organ hand is an organ when these organs start doing their jobs function properly it forms a system examples of system are digestive system reproductive system circulatory system nervous system we have eight to nine systems in the body but then when cell combine to form tissue tissue combine to form organ organ form combine to form system when all these start doing their work properly an organism is formed examples are human body plant body animal body insects all these are the examples of organism again before starting the topic the digestive system first we have to discuss what is balanced diet balanced diet means eating the right variety of food in the right amount balanced diet means eating right variety of food this definition balanced diet is divided into two topics two parts eating right variety of food it means the food which we are taking should be in the right amount right amount and eating right variety of food it means the food which we are giving to our body which we are taking should be healthy because unhealthy food and a lot of food is not good for our body and causes many diseases then it comes to the food components seven food components are carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins water and dietary fibers 
we have seven food components it means the food the balanced diet is divided into seven components carbohydrates protein fats minerals vitamins water and dietary fibers so here i will discuss each component one by one with you people in detail with examples at first we have carbohydrates the large food group it is the source of quick energy it is present in sugar and starches they are found in fruits vegetables grains and milk product it is the source of quick energy it is present in sugar and starches they are found in fruits and vegetables grains and milk product so here so here i have few examples of the food group carbohydrates we have fruits we have vegetables we have the dairy product cheese we have bread rice we have spaghetti all these groups all these are the examples of carbohydrate groups which are the quick sources of energy then the second group i have protein they are the body building foods that are the part of every cell they are present in all the living organisms they are made up of amino acids as we have already discussed that they are the body building foods that are the part of every cell they are present in all the living organisms these are the few examples of group protein cheese pulses nuts egg all these belong to the protein group all these foods are called the body building food now we are proceeding to the third group fats group fats are the stored fats are stored as the layer of insulation under the skin fats produce as much twice energy per gram as carbohydrates they have it is found in butter nuts oil meat fish and some dairy products it means that they also give you the energy just like the carbohydrate groups they are also the source of quick energy for our body if we people feel dizziness we people take anything which have fats that gives us quick energy or we can say we can take a little bit sugar in in our diet to regular our blood pressure and maintain the body temperature cheese margarine chocolate cream and few nuts all these belong to the fats group and they give us quick energy then it's the fourth group now mineral group mineral furnish no energy it means they gives us no energy but these are absolutely essential for the growth and repair of the body it means that each fruit group has its basic function there are many things which contains the minerals for example red meat contains iron milk contains calcium and phosphorus liver eggs fish and green leafy vegetables are the good good sources of minerals some of them gives us calcium just like cheese and eggs milk and some minerals we get from fruits and vegetables especially the green leafy vegetables hopefully you will understand today's topic thank you and allah hafiz